the mystery involving the esteemed American college professor, the South American gangsters, the drug deal, and the beautiful bikini model. It is quite a yarn, and ABC's Mark Greenblatt is here with more. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. He's an acclaimed Oxford-educated scientist, mm -hmm. actually, who's saying that he just wanted to find love, but he apparently left his brains at home when he boarded a plane for Bolivia, believing that he was about to rendezvous with a famous bikini model. You're looking at the illustrious model whose allure would land this University of North Carolina professor in a South American jail, convicted on drug smuggling charges. Denise Milano is the winner of the 2007 Miss Bikini World Competition. She's also someone Argentinian prosecutors say scam artists used images of to snare Paul Frampton in something called a honey trap, where the professor was duped into thinking he'd meet the beautiful model when he boarded a plane for Bolivia. Milano never showed up. Instead, Frampton says he was met by a man who gave him a suitcase, telling him to take it to Milano in Argentina. Once there, he tried to board a plane home to North Carolina with the same bag in which police found four pounds of cocaine. He has a high IQ, well known, very distinguished with the field of physics and other scientific uh, uh, areas, but uh, when it comes to common sense, uh, he scored a zero. An Argentinian court sentenced him this week to serve four years and eight months after prosecutors revealed text messages they say Frampton sent intended for the model saying, I'm worried about the sniffer dogs. The university has since cut off his salary, a move that prompted more than 60 of Frampton's colleagues at Carolina to sign this letter of protest, saying, as more information about his case becomes available, it becomes more and more obvious that Paul was the innocent, although very gullible, victim of a scam. From prison, Frampton said it does seem unfair that an innocent scam victim is treated as a professional drug smuggler but the court in Argentina ruled otherwise. Ignorance of the law, as we all know, is no excuse. Frampton's lawyer in Argentina had no comment on the conviction, saying that she wants to see the official ruling first. But apparently Frampton has done this before. The Telegraph of London says he met a Chinese woman online, flew there to marry her, but Dan and Biana, when he showed up apparently in China, she took one look at him and sadly said, no more nuptials. Ouch. The whole story is sad. Thank you, though, for bringing it to us. We appreciate it. Mark Greenblatt.